Today, I'm going to be showing you the best trophy grinding method for Season 10 in Car Dealership Tycoon. Now, before I get into this, I want to let you know that my voice is going to be cooked. I've had a cough for about two months. I don't know what is happening. But make sure you stick to the end to find out what the best grinding method is and how you can best utilize your time to get the best amount of trophies out of your grinding. I'm also giving away a few season passes on my Instagram, which is in the description below. So make sure you check that out. Also, like and subscribe. I'm at 54k subscribers. I'm growing. I'm at that steep phase. So if you can contribute to that, that would be amazing. I'm trying to reach 100k by the end of the year. So thank you very much. And, um, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Car Dealership Tycoon. Obviously, um, I don't know how this is possible, but... I still have a cough. Like, I've had a cough for, like, two months. He helped me get so much muller. So, I apologize. My voice is going to be very, um, cooked today. But we have a new season. We have Season X, otherwise known as Season 10. So, I'm going to quickly go through all of the rewards you can get. <coughs> so, for 100 trophies, you can get this rim. For 900 trophies, you get that Porsche. For 3,000 trophies, you get a flying Mercedes. <laughs> For 7,000 trophies, you get a Volkswagen IDR. And then if you pay, I think it's like 400 Robux, you can get the Season Pass, which carries on to other seasons. For 500 trophies, you get a Fiat Multipla. For 1,500 trophies, you get a wrap for the Porsche. And for 5,000 trophies, you get this other Porsche. Brilliant. I don't know what half of these cars are called. We don't care. But today, I'm going to be showing you the best trophy grinding method for this season. It changes almost every season. There's always a new glitch. There's always a new grinding method. But let's kick it off by talking about the new race. I can hear my voice being cooked. I probably sound so different. So this is the new... Oh, my day. This is the new season 10 race. So you have a choice of one, two, or three laps. It's essentially like a sort of around the world type thing. You go from here. You go up the hill. You go to the desert and you come back. No, don't vote three laps. Oh, for God's sake. A row of four beliefs here. All right, we are off. Now, this race does add a couple of uh, roads which weren't normally there. Oh, my day. I actually can't breathe. Oh, he crashed as well. He crashed as well. I don't think this tunnel is normally here. Ow. Two thousand. Let me know what you guys think of this race. Hello, oh. Jefferson. It is so nice to meet you. I wasn't looking where I was going. So, Marcus, you distracted me. <laughs> I'm just thinking about how my voice is going to sound. I don't know what has happened to me. I've had a cough. I'm not even joking for about two, three months. And it's just gotten worse over the last few days, which is why I haven't been able to upload. I haven't uploaded in about six million years. Oh, I'm actually catching up. Catching up. I'm catching up. Oh, no. Please, the finish line's right there. Am I going to overtake this F5? Oh my god. I beat the Venom F5 by just 0.8 seconds. Alright, so now let's discuss what I think the best trophy grinding method is. Now, normally, there's always some kind of glitch or some kind of technique you can use. We had the drift race glitch. We had the drag race glitch. Now, to the best of my knowledge, I believe the drift race glitch was patched a few seasons ago. So, I'm not sure this one works now. Oh my god, we have an Eggmobile. You'd love to see it. Now, I have just been informed that the Drift Race even got nerfed this season. So, I'm going to see how many points I can get. I'm a pretty good... Oh my days. I'm a pretty good drifter. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Let's just see how many points I can actually get. If you... Oh yeah, they've nerfed this massively. So, the guy got 50,000 points and got 25 trophies. I got 22,000 points and got 25 trophies. So, not only have they lowered the maximum number of points you need to get, they've also lowered... The number of trophies you can get. So, as you can see, three people got 25 trophies. So, uh, that basically makes the drift race useless. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to quickly go check the leaderboard for the new Season 10 race. Because I want to see how many trophies people are getting. Oh, that would have been so cool if I went in the garage. There's no one on the leaderboard. <laughs> I make sure you stick to the end because I am going to be making a conclusion on what I think the best grinding method is. But I did see that this race actually gives you a lot of trophies. Oh, hang on. Okay, 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 okay. I got the rim, which is pretty good. 70 trophies. Just deed that for a minute. 70 trophies. We might have a bit of competition. Mate, first place got 76 trophies. In three minutes, keep in mind it takes 30 seconds to start this race. Now, in my last video, I said that the drag race was the best grinding method. Now, I'm going to test that again because the new season race looks like it's about a trumpet. But let's see. So, you take, what, 15 seconds to start. Right, I'm going to quickly test this because I just want to see how many trophies you can get. And just 
nice like that 18 trophies nice okay so i'm gonna do a quick bit of a oh oh my days my car's like this this guy keeps honking his horn and he's just holding it and there's nothing i can do about it foxy if you're watching this please add an option to mute horns so i'm gonna do a quick bit of uh mathematics to see which one i think is the best out of the drag race and the uh new season 10 race all right i'm turning my volume to zero because this guy doesn't want to shut the f All right, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we have all been waited for. I've done a little bit of uh, mathematics. My voice is so tragic today. Lads, can we get prayer emojis in the comment section? Because my voice is completely crooked. Rich people only. I will be taking a trip to this dealership. I'm sort of rich. I've only got minus $10 trillion worth of debt. Hopefully, this fine establishment will let me in. My, my avatar is just completely cooked. My voice is cooked. This video is cooked. Okay, so what I have found is... Every 228 seconds. Now make sure... Oh my days, here we go, here we go, here we go. So, what I have found from my mathematics is, every 228 seconds for the season 10 race, you get 76 trophies. And then for the drag race, every 21.3 seconds, you get 18 trophies. Now, which one of those is better? And I've worked that out. And ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you that the drag race is better than the season 10 race, that mathematically. However, that is assuming a couple of things, which I'll go on to in a bit. But it is actually better by quite a large margin. So we've established that the season 10 race took that guy in a bleed, 228 seconds to do, and it took me in a top fuel, 21.3 seconds to do a drag race, and that's including the starting times and teleporting back, etc. plus the time it took to actually do the race. And I worked out that if you were to continue doing drag races, by the time you would have completed one season 10 race, which would have been 76 trophies, you would have got 192 trophies if you spent that time doing the drag race. And it kind of cancels out because if you have a slower car in the drag race you're gonna have a slower car in the season 10 race and 192 trophies is a very very big margin considering the fact that you only get 18 trophies per drag race and 76 per season 10 race and that is assuming a couple of things so that is assuming so that is assuming that you have uh, 8 to 10 people in the race normally you can fit 15 but most of the time it might just be you on your own but that doesn't really change the prospect right it, it still means the drag race is better and it's also assuming that in the drag race you're using a top fuel which is a limited car it's the fastest drag car, but but most people don't have the top fuel, and that's the car I use to test it. I also use someone else's time. <laughs> that man had a bleed. And finally, you have to assume that you are going to be winning every single race. Chances are, you might not win every single race. Your friends might be better racers, and your friends also want to win their own races. Especially if it's the drag race, where it's the same outcome every time, no matter how good of a racer you are. But I can conclude that from my test, I believe the drag race is still the top uh, method for grinding. Even though you get more trophies per season 10 race, the time it takes to do the season 10 race, you could do a bunch more drag races and you get 192 trophies more if you spend that time doing the drag race rather than the season 10 race. So that did sound a little bit waffly, but that's kind of like a conclusion. Drag race is better if you want to get trophies, but you have to keep in mind that you have to win every single race. I swear, if you do not shut your horn up, That's what I thought. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. I'm also giving away a few season passes on my Instagram. That is in the description below. But thank you very much. And um, I need some cough syrup. Bye.